Why have you chosen your production company logo? Our film company is called Tomorrow Productions. This is because the target audience is young people who look forward and not old people looking in the past. This represents the film company as it suggests that we are looking forward and are modernised. The title of the film company is on the screen. This makes it stand out as the background is dark. The red seats are also very stereotypical of a cinema. We created it on Photoshop, therefore it was easy to create and has a simplistic look, however it is effective. For example, the clear image of the cinema indicates straight away that the logo is related to the film industry. The image is also a point of view shot, therefore connects with the audience as they would be in the same position. Which film distributor would you choose for your film and why? What other films have they distributed that are similar to yours? We would use Film 4 as our film distributor. They have distributed films such as The Inbetweeners and our film is similar to this film. We share the same target audience too. How would your film be funded? We would get funding from Film 4 as we'd be working with them and they fund similar projects to ours. Film 4 looks for films with a distinctive voice and they want their aims to push the boundaries within a given film genre. We feel like our film does this and it gives us a chance to use risque humour. How have you presented the titles? Our titles and names appear in, vari in various different ways. For example, the first name appears on the number plate in the style of a number plate. This is a fun and creative way to engage the audience. Another way in which we presented our title was having Ben's name roll out from under the tyre. This was effective as it linked to the next frame and is also very satisfying to watch. The main title appears in, in the bright sky giving positive connotations. The colours of the letters are in red and blue as it symbolises a bar magnet. Also, it is a well-known saying and fact that opposites attract, emphasising the opposites. What is your unique selling point of your film? The unique selling point of our film is that we have a male protagonist. This is a countertype for Teen Angst film, as many protagonists are female. Through research, the only other Teen Angst films with male protagonists are Seventeen Again and The Inbetweeners. When would you release your film? Our film would be released in the summer holidays, as this is when our target audience are off school, sick form or college, and are more likely to be visiting the cinema. Our film opening is set in the winter, this gives negative connotations. The film takes place over winter and develops into summertime, which will get also give the ending a positive connotation and emphasises that it is a light-hearted film. Also, as the characters are in their second year of sixth form, the time of years also connotes the future and change in their life. This may be relatable for the audience. What marketing method would you use? How would you see the marketing materials and why? We would use below-the-line advertising. This would be more personal advertising to our target audience. We would mainly use social media to advertise as it would be cheap and give the message to a wide audience of both genders. Also, our target audience of young adults are always using social media. In later stages of advertising, we would do Facebook live Q&As and interviews with the cast on YouTube. We would also create a hashtag across social media to get the word around and spread new information and teasers. We would also put flyers in team magazines such as Shout, Seventeen and Team Vogue. What sort of information would be on the poster and trailer? The main image on our poster would be the four main characters, with the boys on one side and the girls on the other and the school in the background. The title would be In Between Kate and Aidan with the magnet colours. The information included on the poster would be the actors' names, age rating of 15, the release date and core crew members such as the director and the film distributor. The actors' names would be in the same colour they have allocated in the opening sequence. The trailer would include the best bits of the film, for example the football scene. We would use the music from the opening sequence in the trailer to make it recognisable. We wouldn't give too much away about Kate and Aidan's relation relationship as we want the audience guessing and to be intrigued. Which cinema festival would it be shown in? We would show the film in Cineworld as it is the most accessible cinema to most young adults and is most popular in the UK. Therefore, it gives us a wider audience. Additionally, the seats are red in the cinema 
and these are the same red seats in our production, production company logo and gives the audience a mirror image of what they are seeing.